It's been one year since an inmate died of suicide after an incident at Washtenaw County's Women's Huron Valley Correctional Facility, the only women's prison in Michigan. So why are prosecutors only now reviewing the death of 25-year-old Janika Edmond? One reason is that Michigan State Police only began investigating the circumstances of her death after reading MLive and the Ann Arbor News reports regarding allegations that guards were neglectful. That was four months after Edmund died. The news examined new police reports and interviewed officials in the case and found confusion about reporting requirements when an inmate dies. MDOC policy directives state the department needs to notify police of deaths in the prison and whenever investigation reveals possible criminal behavior. MDOC spokesman Chris Gouts confirmed the MDOC didn't follow its own policy on reporting deaths to police after Janika Edmund died. It's been uh, uh, reiterated to the facility um, and uh, about this and so going forward we don't see this being an issue that, that uh, um, it'll be uh, clear to everyone that uh, when we have a situation uh, involving a suicide or or a death, uh, that MSP will, will get a call. Janika Edmond was serving time for a probation violation and had a history of mental illness, suicide attempts, and misconduct. Officials believe she hanged herself with a bra on November 2, 2015 in the shower area of the segregation unit of the prison. Police reports show prior to the hanging, she said she wanted a suicide prevention vest. Though redacted, the records did not indicate that she ever received one. Four months later, two corrections officers were fired after an internal investigation into the death. Earlier that day, MLive published a report showing allegations that guards did not follow proper procedures at the prison. Based on those claims and news of the firings, Michigan State Police opened a criminal investigation. State Police closed the investigation in July and forwarded their report to the Washtenaw County Prosecuting Attorney's Office, which is reviewing the case. No charges have been announced.